and sorry for the basically lack of uploads lately. Like I've missed some days this week and other days all I've gotten is like a review video up and nothing else and just uh, part of it, well a lot of it's been just how much the kids have freaking been here. But I mean on the other hand I kind of don't want to complain too much since you know soon they won't be here anymore as of like 28th I think it is is when they moved to Arizona. Again. And then I'll probably go into depression and then it'll probably be lack of uploading for that, although then I'll probably be lonely and bored, so maybe I'll post more. I don't know. I don't really know. But between that and just general overall fatigue, probably from, you know, that, I don't know. Well, it's not looking for, well, kind of looking for, but also not looking forward to the procedure itself of having that tooth capped, I think, next week. I want to say it's either next week or the week after it's on the 31st I think I have to check calendar and then next month is the brain scan and just, yeah so I don't know it's like almost 4 p.m. I finally hauled my butt out of bed and yeah <laughs> so here we are now I'm gonna review this and I will see if I can get another video up later but no guarantees I know I have at least two little short ones to film. I I don't know. Maybe I'll get those done later today. Who freaking knows? But um, I put some mascara on to see if I could con myself into feeling a little bit more with it. It's not really uh, convincing my body that it is, but I'm trying to, you know, feel like not such a just disaster train wreck so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't oh and I redid my nails now they're they exactly match my freaking table that I film on but um yeah that's a thing so ooh, they're not blue anymore I liked the blue better oh well but yeah so we are here <laughs> two minutes in I'm like just now getting to the freaking point so yeah my energy levels <laughs> down the shitter but yeah so two minutes in we are doing the Revo Beauty 360 cookie dough lip balm which expires in November of this year so I really want to get this done since this is like one of the most requested ones like behind black cat cherry but I finally did that on Halloween last year um and tons of people have offered to buy this one off of me for like a hundred dollars I'm like sorry bachachos this is mine so here we are doing the thing so we're gonna do the thing but yeah so um let's get into it Right off the bat, I'm leery because it has a dirty scuffed side, even though it's been sealed. Oh, please don't be moldy because this one's too expensive to replace. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry, after last year, I'm so freaking leery. God, that smells good. But yeah, so <laughs> you can understand my apprehension given that. There's a lot of similarity to the sugar cookie scents, but this one's better. <laughs> but yeah, so format wise, oh yeah, I'll open it back up. It's flat top dome, as all Revos are, and it's like legit cookie dough color. Um, it doesn't go on that color, that just is the color of the wax, obviously, so. Yeah, and packaging wise, the outside just looks like an egg, because it's the old school packaging. Uh, this is from, what was it, 2014 or 2015? 15. Uh, regardless, it was one of the two CVS exclusive ones that were put out at that time. The other one was Coconut Cream, and it was in a blue sphere like this. And then there is this one, and this one was the fan favorite, let me tell you. Um, you will still find uh, the Coconut Cream one floating around quite cheaply, but this guy, this one's the one worth big money. And since I just opened it, it's market value up. Just like that. So, these are not natural or organic, they are synthetic. Um, it's very limited edition. It's the only time they did cookie dough flavor. They've never brought it back. They've done sugar cookie, which is similar, but not the same. Uh, so there's that. Um, and like I said, it was part of the set of two. The amount of product is a quarter of an ounce, just like all Revos and all EOS. EOS. God damn it, I'm still trying to break that habit. I know, it's EOS. It's not EOS. It's EOS. Uh, so Shelf Life already told you it expires in November of this year. Price point when I got it was about... $2.99, I want to say. Might have even been $2.50 if it was on sale, but I got this one back when it came out. I really should not be doing this with one that's worth a bunch of money, because if I break it, it's going to suck for me. Uh, but yeah, so sturdiness-wise, it's got a good locking mechanism on it, no complaints. Nice hard plastic. 
everything's good to go. I mean, other than that weird little dirty looking spot, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with the product inside, so I will live with that. So, um, there's no special features like SPF or medication, so let us talk about the scent. So, basically, what I can compare this to is basically an identical duplicate. Those of you who bought the Chapstick Sugar Cookie last year, that's what it smells like. So if you missed out on this guy and don't want to shell out big bucks or something that's going to expire in a couple months, just buy the Chapstick Etz and Sugar Cookie and you will have ex essentially the same experience except with, you know, the actual product quality. But the scent, that is exactly what it smells like. So no worries if you missed out on it. They smell exactly the same. It's a very vanilla-y, very sweet, very cookie scent. Very cookie. Wow, what a descriptor, Jen. But, um, yeah, it just, it's very similar to even the Revo sugar cookie releases they've done for Christmas time, but it is a little different from those. I will give you that. It's slightly different from the Revo ones, but the chapstick one, it's almost a dead ringer for. I'm gonna put it on. God, I miss that quality from Revo. If only they would go back to this formula, I would be a happy girl. Damn. That feels so nice. And tastes so nice. The Revos now don't even get flavor, and the quality is just shit. But anyway, so this one is super, super creamy. About medium uh, thickness consistency. Pretty slick. Very silky. Little tiny bit sticky, um, but overall, it's really good. It doesn't have that weird wax. Actually, I take it back. It does have a slight waxiness to it, if I'm being 100% honest. It does have a little bit of waxiness to it that I noticed on my upper lip. Weirdly, I'm not feeling it on the lower lip. Take that for what you will. But um, I do feel it like settling a little bit into all the little crevices in my upper lip, but not on the bottom. That's a new one. Usually I feel it on both if I feel it, but whatever. Um, so that's a thing. But moisturization-wise, the old Revos did such a good job, the new ones don't. But this, I have no doubts, will actually do a thing and will make me quite happy for it. So shine factor-wise, we've got not a lot going on. Yeah. Not much. Kind of a matte buff look, if anything, so. Um, but the question. The drink test. Also an excuse for me to get more caffeine in my system to see if it wakes my butt up. So far it's just made it feel more slippery. But um... Now, the scent smells slightly different. Now it's like sugar cookies mixed with the oat pieces from Lucky Charms. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, shift there. I mean, not bad. I mean, it's different. But, um, I'm still checking to see if it thinned. My throat is swollen up all inside, too, so that's probably not a good sign. But anyway, um... Hmm. I'm having a really hard time on this one telling if it's thinning down or not. If it is, it's, like, barely. So it might actually pass the drink test. I'm only gonna check a little bit more, because I don't want to waste you guys' day, but... Screw it! I'm gonna give it a pass on that one, because I don't think it's thinning down. If it is, it's so minimal, I can't detect it, so that's a pass in my book. So, what will I rate this one? Is it worth the hype? Um, I wouldn't say it's worth, like, $50 or some shit to get a hold of it, or $100, whatever it's going for nowadays. I wouldn't pay that for it. But is it good? 
it's good. I really do like this one. I understand why so many people adored it and miss it. Is it better than the Rebo Sugar Cookie? Yes. But again, it's not worth the crazy amount people want for this one. So if you just want the scent, go with the Chapstick Sugar Cookie because it smells just like this. Like seriously, for real, exact doppelganger. If you guys have this in your collection and that, Go smell them back to back, and you come back and tell me if those two smell different, because I think they smell exactly the same. So, anywho, um, rating-wise, what do we allow rate it? Hmm. Well, um, trying to think. I was gonna say it's not cookie dough-ish, but that's only because my brain associates cookie dough with chocolate chip cookie dough, and that is not all cookie dough. <laughs> Hashtag not all cookie dough. But, um... If it were sugar cookie cookie dough, you know what? Yeah, this is what it would smell like. So I guess it does live up to that. Um, let me think. Uh, hmm. I'll talk at a point just for it really not having much shine, even though it doesn't exactly purport to. But I mean, some Revos are like super shiny and other ones not at all. And a lot of them are in between, so... I don't know. I mean, it doesn't feel 10 worthy, but I can't really think of anything to specifically dock it for, so I will dock it for that. And half a point for the, like, weird wannabe half waxiness on just the upper lip. So that will put us at an 8.5 out of 10, which is still pretty darn good. And I know this is like an old news product, but, you know, if you can get your hands on it for cheap and it's still good, you know, might not hurt, but I mean, don't don't spend crazy amounts on it. It's not so freaking amazing that it's worth, like, gajillions of dollars. I said this about Black Cat Cherry, too, that, you know what, it's not worth the crazy amounts people want for it. They only charge that because it's black and edgy looking with red interior, which is, like, the coolest of the cool, and because it has cat in the name and the internet loves cats. That is, like, the whole reason that one is so friggin' edgy. Um, but for the actual product... Frankly, I actually thought that one kind of sucked. This one, at least, I think does smell really good, but I will be honest with you, it's still just a lip balm. It's still just a Revo at the end of the day. It's not worth a ton of money in my book. I wouldn't spend that on it. So, anyway, that is all I have to say for this one, and I need to stop throwing this. So, as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. Until next time, bye!